Regarding its promise to outlaw no-fault evictions in England, the government has been accused of having caved into vested interests by Deputy Labour leader Angela Rayner. Ms Rayner received backlash for her own living arrangements in the Commons and questioned Deputy PM Oliver Dowden about when the ban will take effect. Mr Dowden declared himself confident that the administration will succeed. However, the Housing Secretary is unable to state whether or not the evictions will be prohibited before to the next general election. Michael Gove stated on Tuesday that while he hopes it would pass into law, the House of Lords will ultimately determine how fast we can move forward. After members of Parliament have given their approval, the government's renters' reform bill, which modifies eviction procedures, will be examined by the House of Lords. The remaining stages of the Commons will soon be discussed by members. The Conservatives pledged in 2019 to eliminate the right of landlords to evict renters without cause. Its plan would restrict the conditions in which landlords may evict renters in England, such as when they wanted to sell the house or when they wanted to move in with a close relative. A minimum six-month rental agreement was one of the amendments the government implemented in response to worries expressed by Conservative MPs that some of the legislation's protections could be too onerous for landlords. It further stated that a prohibition on no-fault evictions for tenants who are already in their leases will be postponed until the Justice Secretary's evaluation of the court system's preparedness to handle repossession cases is released. At Prime Minister's questions, Ms Rayner and Mr Dowden, representing their respective party leaders, Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak, discussed the topic. Because he was in Berlin for a meeting with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Mr Sunak was unable to respond to queries from members of Parliament. Ms Rayner acknowledged at the outset of her questioning that Mr Dowden would try to attack her because of her previous living situation. After being questioned about whether or not she owed taxes on a home she sold in 2015, she denied any wrongdoing and verified her voter registration at the correct address. Greater Manchester Police declared earlier this month that it would be opening an investigation into her at the request of James Daly, the Conservative Deputy Chair. Ms Rayner asked the first question she would ask at PMQs, saying, I know the party opposite is desperate to talk about my living arrangements but the public want to know what this government is going to do about theirs. She stated that almost a million families were at risk of homelessness due to his party's failure to ban this cruel practice, stating, instead of obsessing over my house, when will he get a grip and show the same obsession with ending no-fault evictions? Mr Dowden responded by pointing out that he had faced Ms Rayner five times at Prime Minister's questions in the previous year and making the joke that, any more of these and she'll be claiming it as her principal residence. Regarding the issue of no-fault evictions, he expressed his confidence that, we will deliver on that commitment in line with our manifesto. He was charged by Ms Rayner with having, caved into vested interests on his backbenches and delayed justice, for individuals affected by evictions that occurred without cause. She also criticised the government for attempting to outlaw leaseholds, pointing out that this would only benefit homeowners and not apartment buildings, which would not benefit the vast majority of leaseholders. Mr Dowden defended the Conservative Party's housing record and argued that Labour had totally failed to solve the issue while in power.